A retreat for women, a special benefit concert, and Ash Wednesday services are just a few of the stories covered this third Sunday of February. Welcome to Life at Paznaz on both campuses, Pasadena and Valley Center. I'm Scott Anderson, your host. The Ebola epidemic has captured the spotlights in recent months. Our friend Nat Nadar, along with Mr. Tim Bowles, are here to tell you about a concert this coming Saturday evening benefiting African literacy and Ebola recovery. Nat? Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm here to talk about another important concert, African Literacy and Ebola Recovery, that which take place at Paznaz on Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. on February 21st. There's no other area quite like West Africa. It was the scene of civil wars uh, for some 15 years. Uh, and now uh, the Ebola uh, scourge has, has, has devastated the area. Only this coming Monday will the schools reopen in Liberia after eight months of being shut down, for example. It's wonderful to uh, have the opportunity uh, for a concert like this. This is going to be a celebration of life. Thank you again. We look forward to seeing all of you on Saturday, 7.30 on February 21st at Paznaz. Thank you so much and God bless all of you. Thanks, Nat. This is your last chance to be a part of the new church directory program, and Paznaz needs you to make this family album complete. All of the original photo spots have filled up, but four more days have been added on February 26th through Sunday, March 1st. Sign up today following the service on the patio. You don't need to be a member of Paznaz to participate. Each individual or family will receive a complimentary 8x10 photo and a free church directory for participating. There's no need to purchase anything. There are several great events happening through the ministries of Paznaz. Here's a look at what's coming up. The traffic. I can't read The that. boss. I can't read that. The baby. The dog. That does it. <laughs> I went to NYC in 2011, all the way, all those years ago, in the great city of Louisville. I went to NYC, um, and the host city was St. Louis. Back when it was called World Youth Congress, and I went in 1983, uh, when it was in Mexico City. It was the first time I really felt like, man, this faith is my own, and I get to make decisions about what this means. There was something really cool about being part of a denominational gathering that was that large. It was a great way for me as a freshman to bond with people, not only in our youth group, but also in our district. I wasn't completely sure what I wanted to do, but it was in that moment where I, I sensed God called me into ministry. It was powerful and meaningful and life changing. There was this common bond that we then pointed back to for years and sometimes still even, um, man, do you remember that time that I prayed with you? It got really heavy and really intense, but in a really great way. There's something really unique about the body of Christ coming together and inviting young people to connect together in those moments. I hope that, that the young people in our church, that they'll all get to go and that finances will not be a reason for them not to be able to go. I felt that 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 year our youth group was stronger than it had ever been. That would be something that would be really fun to see happen again. Join your Paznaz family for a special Wednesday night service celebrating Ash Wednesday and the start of the Lenten season. It all begins February 18 at 7 o'clock in the sanctuary. Regularly scheduled Wednesday activities will not be held that evening so that you may attend and participate in this special service. Those classes will resume on Wednesday evening, February 25. Twice each year in September and February, Paznaz receives a special special offering, the Alabaster Offering, to help purchase property and build buildings for mission stations around the world. You'll have the opportunity to give in this special offering on Sunday, September 22nd. Plan now to give generously. Thanks for watching Life at Paznaz. One of the best things you can do for your spiritual health is to find a ministry and become involved in the Life at Paznaz. Take a look inside the day's worship folder to see if there's a good fit for you. From all of us here at Life at Paznaz, I'm Scott Anderson. Wait a minute. 
This is Keegan and Jamie Linker's last Sunday with us. And over the past seven years, Keegan and Jamie have been a part of life at Paznaz from time to time. Here are a few moments that are gonna be hard to forget. Just good that are just right for you and your family. I think we need to be really intentional. Has anybody told you I love you today? My eyes open. 